And Susie Hull asked if I could show her how to make a short book trailer type video on Canva. And so that's what we're doing today. So create design. We're going to go with a TikTok video because that's the right shape for TikTok, obviously, but you can also use it on Instagram and on Facebook stories and a few other places like that. The file is open. Go to templates and the the most time consuming part of this is working out what you want to put in your video. Um, I wanted something to do with snow because Picture Perfect is set in the Alps in at New Year. Uh, so I wanted something to do with sort of champagne and New Year. And that's it, really. I wanted a couple of images. So what we're going to do for is we're going to look for snow. And you get all of these these templates. Uh, most of these are pro. There's very few which are in freeze. That one's free. That's quite pretty, actually. Um, but if you're going to try and make trailers and things, you might need to get Canva Pro. Okay, so this was the one that I decided I liked. Put that in. See, that's 25 seconds of video. Right, so that's what we're going to start the video with, is a car going somewhere. Uh, and then we're going to do... Let's try party. Just party. Ah, there we go. Christmas party. That will do. So we click on that. And that tells us it's got two short clips on this template. And I think we'll have both of them. So let's say apply both pages. Now, before you click that, make sure you open a new page. Because otherwise it'll overwrite the original one that you saved. So apply both pages. Did it just overwrite the original one? It did. Darn it. Okay, let's try this again. Add page. Go back to snow and find my little car video. Where'd you go? There we go. Right. What we want is several different frames of this. So we're going to start with about five seconds of intro. So let's have a look. So we're at five seconds there. So. We need to get this to 10 seconds. Eight, nine, 10. Okay, Oop. pause. Actually, let's make it 12. Okay, and then right click, split page. Okay, then we're gonna take this, because this is what we want to start with, and we move it to the front. Okay, now then, what we wanna do with this is to have we, I want to have two frames at this point, so I'm going to, somewhere in the middle, click on it, right click, and split it again. Okay. This long bit at the end, we're going to delete at the, when we've finished. Okay. Right. So, text. So, for the text, what I did was I took my blurb and I condensed it down to as much as I could. Um, if you have a favorite quote, you could use that or a hook. If you have a hook, brilliant, use that. I'm not sure what my hook is. So go to the first page and get rid of the writing that's already on there. I like the twirly snowflakes, so I'm going to keep those. Uh, add some text. Nero is in desperate need of inspiration. Let's select that and change the change the font. No, something with a serif font. Let's try. I quite like noto serif display. I quite like chunky fonts, but that's just me. Use whatever works for you. Okay. Now, because this is TikTok, you need to, this is for TikTok, you need to keep the things to the side a little bit so that it doesn't get buried under all the notifications and stuff that goes on the TikTok screen. So we've got this. Let's select it and go to effects. And you've got this background effect thing, which puts a background behind it. 
let's make the background you can change the color so you can make the background white and you can reduce the transparency if you want the stuff to show through a little bit and increase the spread if you want it to spread out a little bit yeah that looks good now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that oops no select that and copy it control C to copy then I'm going into the next page and I'm going to paste it get rid of the writing that's already on there it means I don't have to fiddle about with the settings in the same way that I did before and I'm going to paste it on each of these oops let's get rid of Christmas party and 2022 and happy whatever that is okay right let's paste the text onto here and onto here all right now I'm just going to go through and I'm going to change what the text says so Okay, right, what I've done, we've got now, Nero is in desperate need of inspiration. Ooh, I didn't realize there was music. There is music on this clip. So when it's not a Christmas book, so I'm gonna get rid of this music. You click on that and that gives you, that shows you the audio. And then if you do the three dots, delete track, no music. Okay, let's try this again, right. Nero is in desperate need of inspiration. Okay, that's pretty good so far. Right, let's get, let's delete, delete page. That gets rid of the extra 18 seconds. And then we need a, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this. So right click on it, duplicate page. And then I am going to get rid of the writing and the glass. I'm going to take this sparkly thing and turn it on its side. That way there's sparkles on the whole page. I'm also actually going to move that slightly to the side so that I can get to the background image and I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to change the background color to something sort of champagne-y like that oh there we go that looks nice and then we're going to add the book cover to this your book cover should already be in your uploads file so you go to uploads find your book cover there we go make it nice and big And maybe put in a read now piece of text and heading read now so there and what color should we do it red and white maybe make the text white and then go to effects and background and bright red Oh yeah, that should do it. That sort of looks like a button now, which is quite nice. Let's see if we can make this bold and in the same font as before, just to be consistent. No, that looks terrible. Let's change to another serif font ah better there okay I might like I quite like these twiddly bits that they had let's get some of those to we'll see there okay I might like I quite like these 
twiddly bits that they had. Let's get some of those. We'll see. Control V and other twiddly bit at the bottom. Control C and Control V. And let's put that position backwards so that it's behind the text. And I think we'll make this one go behind the book as well, backwards. There we go. Okay, I like that. Now we can just play it, see what it looks like. Okay. At the moment, when you skip from one scene to another, it's a little clunky. So we're going to go, we're going to add scene transitions. So you go between the two pages, there's a plus button, add plus. And if you scroll down a little bit, you get add transition. There's lots of different transitions you can do. I'm going to go with dissolve because that's quite gentle. And we're going to make it 4.4 seconds. I'm going to do the same with the next one. You can do that and go apply between all pages. That would have been easier, wouldn't it? All right. So now, hopefully, they should sort of dissolve more easily from one into the other. Okay, five seconds, 5.5 5 seconds is a bit too long. Let's take that down. So you just um, get the end there and move it forward. Four seconds. Yeah, four seconds is enough for somebody to read that. All right. Um, what I suggest for TikTok is that you share. You could either share it straight to TikTok. I haven't set mine up like that. Or you could uh, just save it like this and then upload it to TikTok and add the music, if you want music, in TikTok itself so that um, you get some, I don't know, the algorithm is happier. Um, if you wanted to add music to it, what you can do is you can go to Elements. I'm going to search for Auld Lang Syne because it's a New Year theme and then go to Audio. Make sure your play bar is right at the start, because otherwise it will add music to wherever you are. You want it to add it right from the start. And I think, where's this gone? This was the one that I quite liked, so I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, it's just added, this is the audio track. It's added the audio track to the bottom. So there's more of it if you need it, but we don't need it. So let's see. Right. One of the things that I realized was that it, the nice old Lang Syne bit doesn't start till here. So let's move, slide it along. Right. Let's try that. Okay, so you just have to slide it around until you find the right place. And then you can, can save it, and it will save it with music, which you can use to upload to I don't know, Twitter and Instagram. And that's it. Let me know how you get on with your own video trailers. If you have found this useful at all, please subscribe to the channel and like and share, um, because that would really help me. It would help me know that these are useful and it would help me get to a, a thousand subscribers after which I can do more exciting things. Yeah. Let me know how you get on. I hope this is useful to you. Um, and do tag me and show me your, your video trailers when you make them. 
If you want me to make anything specific, find me on uh, social media, ask me, and I will work out how it's done for you and do a tutorial. Okay, thank you.